tips for selecting gradient and isocratic mode mobile phase illusion during method development. In this session, you will learn what is isocratic mode, what is gradient mode, what are advantages and disadvantages of gradient mode, what are advantages and disadvantages of isocratic mode, in which case isocratic mode should be used, in which case gradient mode should be used. Namaste, welcome to my channel Pharma Knowledge Forum. My name is Dr. Pramod Kumar Pandey. I provide a skill based lecture on pharma analytical techniques such as analytical method development, analytical method validation, impurity control strategy, chiral separation, genotoxicity. The fee for such lecture is much lower than expected. You just have to subscribe to this channel and like the video because a lot of time is spent in researching and making such video. Mode of illusion. If compound is highly pure, in that case, it is very easy to decide the mode of illusion. But if sample contains several compounds with different polarities, in that case, it is very difficult to select the mobile phase. For example, if sample contains such molecules, in that case, it is very difficult to decide the mode of illusion since some of the molecules are polar and some of the molecules are non-polar. Now question is in which case isocratic mode should be used and in which case gradient mode should be used. First I will discuss use of isocratic mode. In the isocratic mode, the composition of mobile phase does not change during elution. For example, if mobile phase contains water and acetone nitrile in ratio of 50 is to 50, means composition will be remain same throughout the elution. Means it will be 50 is to 50 throughout the analysis. Advantages suitable for pure molecules, suitable for molecule containing impurities of similar polarity, noise free chromatogram is obtained, easy to equilibrate the column, disadvantages not suitable for impure molecule, not suitable for molecules containing impurities of different polarities. Longer run time is required to elute all the impurities. Non-polar impurities may not elute and create a ghost peak issue in the next run. Application It is used in assay test, chiral purity test, content test, some of the impurity profile test because in isocratic condition it is difficult to elute all the impurity that is very limited impurity profile test is performed in isocratic condition. It is also used in refractive index detector and electrochemical gradient illusion in the gradient mode the composition of the mobile phase changes during illusion if an analyte mixture contains several components of different polarities then a gradient mode is used typical gradient at time t Eluent A, which is buffer, is 80%. Eluent B, which is acetonitrile, is 20%. At 15 minutes, eluent A is reduced to 
परसेंट फेयर एज इलेवेंट बी इज इंक्रीज टू एटी परसेंट अगेन एट ट्वेंटी मिनट इलेवेंट ए इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड इलेवेंट बी इज एटी परसेंट एडवांटेज इज सुटेबल फॉर प्योर एंड इम्प्योर मॉलकोल सुटेबल फॉर मॉलकोल कंटेनिंग इम्पोर्टेज ऑफ डिफरेंट पोलरिटीज इन ग्रेडियंट मोड सार पिक इज ऑफ टेन दिस एडवांटेज समाइम इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ नॉइज इज ऑप्टेन इन द कोमेटोग्राम कलम रिकुबरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड आफ्टर एवरी एनालिसिस रिक्वायर्स ए पम्प विथ एटलीस्ट टू सोलवेंट कैपेबिलिटी not compatible with refractive index and electrochemical detectors De delay volume becomes important high pure solvent and reagents are required in gradient analysis application it is used in ac test content test and impurity profile test tips for successful gradient run keep it as simple as possible be aware that delay volume will vary from instrument to instrument make sure your post run equilibration time is adequate to return the column to initial condition try to put the concentration of ion pair as low as possible in gradient mode in case of ion pair is used in reverse phase analysis gradient variables solvent selection and mobile phase composition gradient shape gradient steepness duration and position of isocratic condition pressure and flow rate case study each sample contains compounds of different polarity like this this is non polar this is non polar this is intermediate polar this is a polar this is a intermediate polar this is a intermediate polar this is the polar this is polar this is a polar in that case isocratic mode cannot be used because in isocratic mode non polar compound cannot be eluted to elute all components that is polar and non polar gradient mode is required this is all about this lecture hope you have understood in which case isocratic mode should be used and in which case gradient mode should be used make sure you subscribe and like this lecture write your question related to this session in the comment section let us see you next session thank you